John Henry Lahr is a British-based American theatre critic, and the son of actor Bert Lahr. Since 1992, he has been the senior drama critic at the New Yorker magazine. He is the author of such books as Joyride in Tennessee Williams, Mad Pilgrimage of the Flesh. Life and career, Lahr was born in Los Angeles, California, the son of Mildred, a former Miss Cincinnati, and Bert Lahr, an actor. Lahr holds a B.A. From Yale University and a master's degree from Worcester College, Oxford. He has written many books, including the novels The Autograph Hound and Hot to Trot, as well as three biographies of important theatrical figures, one on his father called Notes on a Cowardly Lion. One of the British playwright Joe Orton called Prick Up Your Ears. And one of the Australian comedian Barry Humphreys called Dame Edna Everidge and the Rise of Western Civilization, backstage with Barry Humphreys. In 1987 he co-produced a film version of Prick Up Your Ears directed by Stephen Frears and written by Alan Bennett in which Lara appeared as a character played by Wallace Shawn. Lara also wrote the four out to love all the people, letters, lyrics, routines, a 1994 collection of Phil Hicks's work. In 2002, La became the first drama critic ever to win a Tony Award for his part in writing actress Elaine Stritch a Euro unregistered trademark Sony a Euro woman show, Elaine Stritch at Liberty, for which he and Stritch also won the Drama Desk Award for the best book to a musical. Among his many awards, La has twice won the George Jean Nathan Award for Dramatic Criticism. In 1994, La published a profile in the New Yorker detailing the vagaries of Lady Maria Street Just an executor of playwright Tennessee Williams's estate. The profile helped liberate La Levick's biography of Williams, Tom, the unknown Tennessee Williams, from a four-year legal stranglehold. While working on a planned second volume in 2000, Levick died and named La as his favored successor. La agreed to complete the second volume, which will follow Williams from 1945 to his death in 1983. In October 2007, La said that he was taking a half-year sabbatical from writing New Yorker profiles to work on the biography, and stated, I'll probably finish it when I'm in my 70s. When he was 73, La's standalone biography Tennessee Williams, Mad Pilgrimage of the Flesh was published to great acclaim on both sides of the Atlantic. In America, the biography won the National Book Critics Circle Award, the American Academy of Arts and Letters Award for Quality of Prose, the Lambda Award for Best Gay Biography and it was a finalist for the National Book Award. In the United Kingdom, it won the Sheridan Morley Prize for Theatre Biography. Writing in the London Sunday Times, John Carey said, John Lars' biography is magnificent. It fulfills the ultimate test for a literary biography by convincing you that the works cannot be understood without it. The biography, the London Observer, said, confirms Lars' standing as one of the greatest biographers writing today. Lars stepped down as senior drama critic of The New Yorker in 2013, his 21-year stint at that position is the longest in the magazine's history. His most recent book Joyride, Lives of the Theatricals in the UK and Joyride, Show People and Their Shows in the US collects his New Yorker profiles on playwrights and directors, and some of his reviews of their work. Of that collection, the playwright John Gare said, 100 years from now this is where people will look to see what it was like back then. La was married for many years to the late Anthea Manda, daughter of the liberal politician, art patron and industrialist Sir Geoffrey Manda, of the prominent Midlands family. In 1988, La began a relationship with former actress Connie Booth. They married in 2000 and lived together in London. His sister is the editor and writer Jane La. La has contributed to John Kerry's presidential campaign and democratic organizations. Bibliography References External links, official website, The Man in the Middle